great evening here. It's uh, established itself in the calendar of uh, publishing and authors and everyone's having a splendid time. I think, uh, I think it has got a place now in the publishing calendar. It's one of the awards that people say is very popular when people are trying to fill tables and get guests to come along, busy people. They always say this is an event that they enjoy and they enjoy coming to. I think it's going to be a lovely evening. There's a lot of men in the room, as always, at these sporty events, but you know, us women will hold our world. Uh, very fortunate to, uh, to be all, um, uh, nominated for the Autobiography of the Year, so I can't wait. Uh, there's a lot of great competition, uh, a lot of amazing books, and looking forward to meeting some fantastic people at the event. Well, I would have to say that my book, which is called Knowing the Score, is a kind of a memoir of the tennis journey that I went on with my kids from starting out at our little tennis club in Dublin in Scotland, a country that's got no track record of success in tennis. And how we managed to somehow find our way to the top of the tennis world but the, the author, the proper writer that wrote it uh, was a wonderful lady called Alexandra Hemingsley and she turned my story into something that was uh, wonderfully readable. I've been a judge in one of the categories and I think I'm going to the winner tonight so a little bit, little bit uncomfortable nervous it's not an easy job. Very difficult judging job again this year but absolutely loved it for Both Sarah and I are hockey writers and hockey fans through and through. We were so proud of what happened and uh, when we put our heads together and decided it was something we wanted to write about. Oh, I'm absolutely delighted. I mean, it's particularly nice just to win it at Lord on the right brand there. And I'm glad that you know people recognise that, the kind of contribution you made to the game. It's very difficult sometimes when you've got um, players from a long time ago kind of bringing them to life again, but I'm glad that the judges picked up on that. Uh, and I'm just, yeah, absolutely thrilled. Thrilled for Billy especially. Uh, I think Billy's is just an extraordinary story. Uh, and the amazing thing about Billy's story, of course, is that, you know, it's only kind of, you know, not even not even halfway through probably. There's probably still so much more to come. Ten years ago was when I had the idea because uh, Sheikh Mansour bought Manchester City. I just read my first book, which is about uh, football in the Middle East. So people wanted to know, oh, who is this guy? Who is this uh, Sheikh Mansour? And that's what I thought, this is when billionaires are investing in football. It's not now the old school millionaires or multi-millionaires. This, this is a sea change in football that's going to be a major thing. I'm really, I'm indebted to Tom Simpson. You know, he was this uh, cyclist who was Britain's first world champion on the road. He won many great classics. Um, he died in the Tour de France in 1967 in complicated circumstances. And that's what he's mainly remembered for in the mainstream. But I sought with the book to kind of to uncover more stories about his life and his sense of fun, the person and the great cyclist that he was. No, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Um, this is my, my first book and um, you know, to be nominated, let alone to win it, is an absolutely incredible feeling. It's almost unreal, actually. Unbelievable. Um, I didn't expect this at all.